camera. My job is to make the point guard look good. This Corey show. I'm, I'm gonna try to make you look good. I'm gonna try to play my position. My position. Why you had to bring out them niggas in there with him? <laughs> I bet it smelled like corn chips and dick in there. <laughs> it's, it's a sausage party. Ain't nothing but a sausage party, party. Yo, man, it's a lot of niggas in this room. Y'all about to feel this. It ain't nothing but a sausage, nothing but a sausage party. It ain't nothing but a motherfucking sausage party. <laughs> picture perfect, paint a perfect picture. If a nigga been over, one of them niggas gonna hit you with the with the D I C K all up in your anus. This motherfuckers on them dogs. Oh no, he got his hand on his dick, and his name probably Rick. <laughs> I got a shit as this Ain't nothing but a sausage party This the voice of reason I'ma drop science I'ma drop mm. information Tommy. Tommy, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir <laughs> Now I'm bugging So I haven't said one thing that's untrue Name one thing I said that's not factually correct Is all I want to hear Name one thing I've said that's factually incorrect, and I'll stop. She can't. She can't name anything. See that? She can't name anything. I'm here, bro. She can't name one thing I've lied about. I want to name. Listen, listen, listen. What did I lie about, you fat bitch? When you want to call me a liar, I'll accept it. Now your fat ass need to tell her what the fuck I lied about. Tell him what I lied about, fat bitch. Don't call me a liar. Same thing as calling that man gay. Show that he's gay, you fat bitch. Stop calling motherfucker shit. I call you fat because I can show it. Fat motherfucker. I call you a liar because I can show it. Lying bitch. See how she sat there? You're, 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 you're a liar. But hung up. You're, you're a liar. Oh, you're the family therapist. Got that therapist on the phone to try to help him. He never played that part of the recording. Again, this show is about gospel music. It's not about Kirk Franklin, but this real news happened, and you both have agreed to talk to us. Um, Kirk, let me start with how did you learn the video had been posted? Well, Listen, my wife is fine. I'm gonna reach over and kiss this bitch. I just want y'all to know that um, I got a bad bitch on my arm right here. As you can see, that I keep a bad bitch with me. Uh, there's really no nothing else that I care about because uh, this this bitch right here. You see this as fine bitch, hey baby. I love this fine ass bitch. Uh, oh shit, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking, it's Kurt Franklin's time, my bad, hold up. A lot of people in our family and community, they, they privately have known for 20, over 20 years of the tension and challenges that we've been going through as a family privately. Um, I have four children, um, when I married my wife, I had a son. And my, my wife had a daughter that I adopted. And so my oldest son and my my bonus daughter. Listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. If I could be with this woman right now, I would adopt her kids, Kurt Franklin kids, and Kurt Franklin. That's how much I would love this motherfucking woman. I would adopt her kids, his kids, her kids with him. And him just to make this marriage work. Oh, go ahead, Kurt. Who was really my daughter? Uh, we raised them together, and I and we have a great relationship with my oldest son's mother. Uh, her name is Sean Ewing. She's an incredible woman. And so whatever, walk up. Well, let me call Joe. Hey, okay. If there's a picture of a dude sucking my dick. Would you think if I mean, would my family be wrong if they said, "Man, this nigga be doing some gay shit"? If I die, would my family get mad? That's, that's, that's what they said. I'll tell you what, every picture of a jacket is not what it does. Every picture of me, I said there was just one picture, just one picture of a nigga sucking. And I'm telling you, you want to be gay? Straight up. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but listen though, and I keep telling you, every picture that you. Every picture that you found was a jack of what it does. You don't pick up no pictures of him with his family. Hey, let me ask you a question. If I died, get my dick sucked. What kind of pictures would 
they put up on, on the uh, article and in the um the news report? What kind of pictures would they put up? Because that's how I died. What pictures would they put up? I'm just curious. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They will put up pictures of him getting his dick sucked. So there's a pattern of him getting his dick sucked before he got killed, sucking his dick sucked. That's what they do. Your man got shot. Oh, well. I know, but sir, I know, I know. I know it is. sir, there's songs where people talk about raping other dudes. Okay, well, I, I, I don't like you, man. I don't know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? I don't listen to none of that. I don't know who says that. I don't listen to none of 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 that. We hate gay lyrics and we hate gay people. Why do we make so many gay references? Hold on, fuck you. That ain't nothing to do with me. Fuck you. Exactly. Fuck you. Like, forget you. Exactly. You're asking a person to do something. Now I say fuck you. That means if I didn't say I'm gonna fuck you. If I start a sentence and say I'm gonna fuck you, then that would be completely different. I would say, hey, I'm gonna fuck you. Why do we have to say that we're sexy? No, I'm asking. I'm just curious. Why does that mean you're sexy? I'm reading too much into what you just said. Then you're reading too much into my article and my video. Then. This fat ass black dude with the, with the he keep a mud shark on his team. He keep a ain't shit white bitch, a white bitch that ain't worth a. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, fella. You need to stop talking about me, sir. And until you fix up that shit in your room. You went from with well, that white bitch mother put you out to her house. You ain't got none of that shit you used to have. What happened to all that stuff you used to have, bro? That's all I want to know. What happened to all that stuff you used to have, man? You used to have a nice little setup, little gaming room. Now you got this shit in the background. What the fuck, dude? I just want to know where are you living at. That white, that white, white, that white bitch took you out the house, huh? Got you living. Look at all them cords in the background and shit. Look at that. You, you got you living in it. Where, where are you at, sir? What, what closet? Is this the? Is, is this the garage? Where are you at? I just want to know, cause this ain't where you were years ago when you were uh, trying to be Team Tommy. What happened? I just want to know. If you if you could help me out, what what happened? That white bitch left you, and then what? What, what happened when that white bitch left you? She took she took her mad black dog. I, I heard you tried to fuck her white daughter. That's what happened. That's what the rumor is. Rusty, this weirdo has been around for a long time. I don't... I, I done roasted this nigga. He called in about a year talking about something. I want to put it... I want to put whatever beef we had. We don't have no beef, Tommy. I just wanted you to know. After his wife left him, after that fat white bitch left him, which I told him was going to happen. You said she lost weight. She left. Yeah, she left him years ago. But he he called. I just want you to know I have no beef. And, and I've said nothing about this man. I don't speak about him just like that motherfucker with the trains. I don't say anything about that dude, the brother with logic and common sense. They turned around and told that nigga, Tommy made you change your name, which I did, pussy. But he just still riding trains 10 years later, talking about somebody else is irrelevant. How do you get to talk about somebody being irrelevant? When not only are you currently irrelevant, but you've never been relevant. 
you made a video and then made a video about a comment that somebody left on the video where you were talking about me. This man made a two hour and 49 minute video about me. Two hours and 49 minutes talking about a conversation I had with some other people. What would that have to do with him? Then he turned around and said, bragging about what another dude, about another dude and what he got. So let me get this straight. If somebody makes a video and brags about what I have versus what you have, you say, well, that's lame. And I can agree. But mad, black, fat, stupid son of a bitch. You made a video talking about what I have versus what Kevin Samuels has. Then you made a video talking about what I have versus what I used to have. This is the comment he made when somebody asked him or somebody made a comment in his comment section and said, you made yourself look bad with this stream. His response was, and who are you again? Oh wait, it's just the wind. It's convinced me that my son is a woman. Agree. It's impossible. I don't think my mother is very accepting of oh me or my lifestyle. This hard voice nigga. I would technically identify Why is being a woman? Okay, can somebody tell me why is being a woman for this whole ass nigga twerking? Come on, bitch nigga, little fag. That's gonna be his rap name, little fag. Little fag, let me ask you something. Why is it that if you being a woman, why you got to be a ratchet woman? Why you got to be a ratchet bitch? Why you couldn't be a, a respectable woman? Why is it your idea is being a woman uh, twerking and just being a ratchet bitch with weed? Black women, this is what you've established that being a black woman is. Out of all the women he could be, he wanted to be a ratchet, disgusting ass, look at my ass. This is insane. Being a girl means that? can kind of go both ways as long as i can remember i've always been called like gay or like queer or like a or stuff like that i didn't want to play sports i wanted to play with barbies i like long hair i like pretty lashes i like things that come in pink i just like pretty things i think it bothered my mom that my entire life i was different i think my mother is a huge bigot if it nigga boy's deep as shit just not angela's way it's just completely wrong angela pushes her conservative agenda down everybody's throat she wants to you can't get mad at somebody pushing things down people's throat if you a gay male that's what your whole life gonna be if you bothered by your mama pushing words down your throat you really gonna be bothered by somebody pushing dick down it poke people on her beliefs if you're not agreeing with what she agrees with then your opinion doesn't matter my mom acting as a woman because he's not a woman I don't have to live in that you, delusion. You understand. What makes you a woman? Because I want to be one. So I want to be a billionaire. I want to be his wife. Worth the Can I be your wife? Got one. Thank you. Oh, okay. Tell me how Can you're a woman. Um, I don't need to. I don't right. need validation from you or right. anybody else. You can't. I don't need validation from you or anybody else, yet you'll get mad if no one calls you what you want to be uh, referred to as, which is a female. So you're asking another individual to lie to themselves or to lie to you to make you feel better. Y'all hear this? That's what they're doing. If they say they don't need you for your validation, well, then you fags wouldn't care if somebody called you what you actually were, which is a man. Maybe one time I've ever asked today y'all still black men gender identity is who i go to bed as and sexual orientation is who i go to bed with so the fact that you're making assumptions about children's genitals or, or your child's genitals that is way out of bounds what she's right y'all gonna sit up there and talk about 17 motherfuckers that got killed who are black men and how is making them transition earlier gonna stop the murder Second off, why don't you bring up the fact that 40% of them niggas that get their dicks locked off kill themselves? Do we not care about them? I'm tired of talking about black men and black men die all the time and we act like they don't matter. The only time a black man's death matters is when a nigga got on lipstick and weed. Only black men they care about is dick suckers.
Long as a nigga sucking dick, y'all care about a nigga. Long as a nigga out here twerking like a bitch, you care about a nigga. Long as a nigga in a mini skirt, you care about a nigga. Long as a nigga done plumped up his lips and put on some glasses and shit and talk about high value men and say, oh my. As long as a nigga doing that, y'all care about a motherfucker. As long as they wear a suit that's two sizes too small, like the Grinch stole they wardrobe, then you all right with that shit. As long as a nigga sitting up in a chair like this, telling motherfuckers they are three, they are five, they are two, they are seven, then y'all care about that nigga. When a grown ass man up here with a beer belly, a little bit of man tits, a whole beard when a nigga is still trying to get the DHT is ruining my hairline. Y'all don't care about us. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Come on, y'all sing it with me. All I want to say is that they don't really care about nuts. I'm tired of putting my dick in your face. Now it's time for me to put you in your old place. Why is you gonna say that I am not a man? <laughs> Cause I don't understand this fag shit. This motherfucker is walking around tucking his dick. I just wish that he would go out and play some ball. Help me, y'all. Suck me, fuck me. This conversation duck me. <laughs> All I wanna say is that they don't give a fuck about nuts. They don't care about nuts. Damn it! At this moment, you have a decision to make as to